Hello everyone, I am Burger, and I am here with chapter 932 analysis of One Piece. Now, last chapter, we got quite the plot twist with, uh, Big Mom losing her memory, but we get even more plot twists this chapter. So, get ready for it. Now, the cover page is naturally of Caesar Clown writing advertisements for his employment, and goats just eating these pieces of paper. He can't even write on pieces of paper correctly. So we go back to the flower capital in Orochi Castle, and we see this same mysterious figure with the mask playing the stringed instrument. And everybody's talking about, oh, I love this song. I love this song so much. But why does she wear a mask? If we weren't suspicious of enough of her already. And then we cut back away to Robin and the penis head uh, and other ninjas who are continuing to question her. Now, in the previous chapter, it seemed like they would accept her excuse just this once. But now it seems like they're saying, if you speak true, you will die a painless death. If you lie, excruciating torture awaits you. Who are you and what are you doing here? And she's just freaking out, think, assessing the situation, with all these ninjas around her. And she says, I'm Ox3, boy. I'm tracking the flow of money inside the capital. Because, uh, they really, originally, in one translation I saw it was Witching Hour Boy, but they switched it to Ox3, boy, which makes more sense in Japanese than it does in English, I suppose. And basically, um, it's about, people think of, uh, a person that goes around, uh, giving money to the poor and stealing from the rich. And he says, a prudent dancer, catch her. Does that mean he believed it or not? I think that means he believed it. And they all attack her, and like, tons of, uh, uh, weapons just sink into her flesh, and she turns into flowers, which is just always awesome. The effect of turning into flowers is always cool. Gotta love Robin. And then Penis Head is freaking out, like, where did she go? I'm, I'm only going to refer to him as that. I know he's like the leader of the ninjas or something, but I, I just can't take him seriously. His head is shaped like a penis. I made a tweet about that. I changed his word bubbles. Seriously. His head is shaped like a penis. And uh, everyone else is like, where did she go? Was she a ninja or a spirit? Ninjutsu or fairy magic? It matters not. So is ninjutsu like an actual powers system in this? Is this like a whole set of like essentially magic that nobody except for the people of Wano know how to use? Because that's kind of a game changer at this point. Because everything magical seems to be caused by um, devil fruits at this point. But really? Ninjutsu? That's actually a thing? I'm just, I just find that very surprising. It really changes everything. That there's an entire system of powers that nobody has exercised except for them. Okay, and then Orabi is like, Onabi Shinobu Bone Kichi, which is Brook. Uh, I didn't get who that was right away, but Bone Kichi. So Bone, Brook, Skeleton. Uh, is, she's alerting them of. Uh, that they've been caught, and it was now revealed that Nami and Shinobu are in uh, the castle as well. Which is not something that I knew right away. And it seems like uh, Brook is also nearby, because last time I heard about him, he was in the graveyard, um, sowing uh, disrest amongst the people. Which honestly is a pretty cool job, pretending to be a dead guy and sowing disrest amongst the people. That's pretty cool. And then Robin just decides to go back to the party. Because there are 11 ninjas hunting her down. So she decides to just go back to the party. Because she figures, well, might as well die happy. No, that's not what she decides. She decides that's her best place to hide. Hide a leaf in the forest. As they say, I can't escape now. That's what she has to say. And we get back to uh, Derp, Derp Man, uh, Orochi. And I'm just, I'm just still really hoping that he's strong. I mean, like... 
Later this chapter, we give more evidence that he's not strong, but I just really want him to be strong. I'm hoping it's the ultimate fake out. Anyways, uh... Uh, we get, uh, Kimura Saki, uh, guilting him very effectively. Because, uh, I guess that's just her strategy. And Robin is trying to get information about Onigashima, because, uh, she's just acting pretty and stupid. But, uh, Morosaki just keeps stealing the show. And, um, Kyoshiro, we get a little bit about his, uh, personality here. And, uh, I wouldn't say he's not evil just yet. Uh, because I'd say a lot of Luffy's, um, uh, associates are evil. Like, Bartolomeo, I'm pretty sure he's cold-blooded evil, but I still love him. Love me some Bartolomeo. He's still evil, though. His, his, his epitaph is Bartolomeo the Cannibal. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to eat people. Anyways. Uh, Kyoshiro, um, someone mentions, uh, that, uh, Kumurasaki is from Kyoshiro's brothel. You sure do tame them well. And he says, don't speak of women as dogs or pets. People are flowers. If your water is was pure, yours would bloom well, too. That's an interesting sentence to say from, you know, a guy who's like, you know, here in this place and is powerful. He's also gigantic. I did not realize this earlier, but he's freaking gigantic. He's one of those really tall people. So that means, you know, he's really strong. And then that also brings up to me that several other people are also gigantic, including Orochi. Orochi's also gigantic. So maybe Orochi is strong after all. We'll see. We'll see. But it's just, uh, you know, on a certain page, we get to see a few uh, people talking to Kyoshiro, and they are just towering over some regular-sized people. And um, he goes on to talk about the normal things that y Yakuza talk about in manga and anime, and that is like, uh, well, it doesn't matter if you're a lowlife, if you drink with us, your family, what would you do if you came home to find your child beaten to a pulp? And, uh, that's his explanation for sending people over a simple soba seller. Hey, Sanji the simple, so simple soba seller. Sanji the simple soba seller. Hey, it's not that bad. It's a relatively easy tongue twister. And, uh, then, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Orochi, sorry, his name should be so obvious. Like, there are so many characters named Orochi. Anyways, Orochi's like, Indeed, Kyoshiro, enemies must always be crushed with overwhelming strength, even if they are ghosts. And then he starts to ramble on and on about the legend that the ghosts are going to come back. A legend, mind you, that is true. But, I mean, imagine if the leader of your country was always talking about how ghosts were going to come back and kill him. That would not be viewed upon positively. I mean, even though in this world lots of things are possible, there's no evidence that ghosts are real. And in fact, they're not ghosts. It's a time devil fruit. A time devil fruit that I'm guessing people are unaware of the existence of. And I'm realizing this is going to be a long uh, analysis. A lot of stuff is happening in a short amount of time. This, this chapter feels very long, despite it being in the normal length. And he starts rambling on and on about, um, the ghosts. And most people are thinking, thinking to themselves about how stupid he is, and they're trying not to laugh. But Kyoshiro just has the dot 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 going on through his head. Which, um, the dot 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 is always suspicious, especially if we're seeing other people's reactions. Why, why is his thoughts being kept a secret? We get the same thoughts with, uh, Kimurasaki. When, uh, he mentions Momonosuke is still alive. We have yet to find his body. 
further emphasizing that Oda clearly wants you to think that this is um, Momonosuke's long-lost sister. I mean, I felt like they made it pretty obvious, but in, in the last uh, chapter a while back, a while back and a couple chapters ago, but this is just further reinforcing it. Anyways, um, he's just going on and on, and then finally someone laughs. And then everybody's like, they stop laughing. They're like, oh shit, who laughed? They've got looks of terror on their face. Um, and, uh, I don't know if this just means Orochi the Derp uh, is really strong or just very cruel. Maybe he's both. Maybe he's just cruel. Those are the two options. I'm really hoping this is a giant fake out and he's actually very strong. And it, it is revealed that the person who laughed is the child Otoko, the one who was said to be laughing all the time and have contagious laughter. And she can't stop laughing, even now. And, um, Orochi the Derp tries to murder this child. And Komorosaki stands up and tries to defend her. Um, and, uh, does, does Orabi do so as well? Anyways, um, Orochi looks weak again when Komorosaki slaps him across the face. I mean, this looks like it injured him for a second, but you know, like, Nami does that to Luffy and stuff, so it's unclear. Is he actually strong? Is he actually weak? I want him to be strong. That's what I'd like to happen. But, I mean, it's not looking good. And Komorosaki stands up and says, I refuse to bow to anyone. I am in the right. You should not murder this child. And, um... She says... Uh, no, and, uh, he's, uh... What's his name? Grr, grr, I'm so bad with names. Orochi says, Oi, Komorosaki, I was going to make you my wife. And she says, If you wish for a weak woman, then by all means, kill me and toss me aside. I am a warrior's daughter. I shall not live on my knees. So who's her father? Hmm? 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 Perhaps a type of soup? I'm referring to him. And then, uh, Orochi turns into... Um, an Orochi, an eight-headed dragon. And it is revealed that this is not a smile double fruit. He actually has the Orochi fruit. So Big Mom collects all the double fruits revolving around food, and Kaido collects all the double fruits revolving around dragons. Which I guess actually makes complete sense that Kaido would have so many dragon devil fruits, because we've barely seen any devil fruits revolving around food before Whole Cake Island, so it makes equal amount of sense that you would barely see any Dragon Devil Fruits before uh, Wano, which is uh, Kaido's main country. At least I'm guessing it's his main country. So we only saw x Drake, and I can't really think of any Devil Fruits that have to do with food, so it makes complete sense that a Yonko would be capable of monopolizing a devil fruit type. That makes a lot of sense if you ask me. Anyways, and then, alright, then Orabi grabs Otoko and tries to help her away. But that's when the, and that's exactly when the ninjas find Orabi, and Kyoshiro begins to pull his sword. What is he going to do with the sword? What is he going to do with the sword? Is he really gonna attack the freaking shogun? Is he going to attack the shogun? That would be just be crazy if he is, but we'll see what he does with the sword. He may just try and subdue the whole situation with a uh, fantastic charisma. We'll see. We'll see. But that is how the chapter ends, and I have a strong feeling that we're not going to see the conclusion of this next chapter, just like we didn't get the conclusion of Big Mom losing her memory. I guess we'll find out next chapter. Or the one after. Or the one after that. That's it for today, everyone. 
Bye. If you have any comments, please tell me. I would love to hear anything you have to say. I think all viewpoints are equally valid, as this is a work of fiction. That's it for today, everyone. Bye.